Welcome back to part five of the Platinum Jewelry Refining Series. I've allowed our solution to uh, remain on low heat overnight, so it's reduced it down a little bit. I'm gonna crank the heat just a touch and turn on the stir bar. And now what we'll do is continue getting the pH up by adding sodium carbonate to this platinum solution. I noticed in the comments section that some folks are recommending using sodium hydroxide or some other chemical to raise the pH quicker and then when I get up close to uh, the goal of 7.5 then start uh, adding sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate rather but that's not the way to go here you want to bring this pH up slowly and that's why we're using this weak base sodium bicarbonate instead of something like sodium hydroxide I finally got an indication on my pH meter here. It's gone up to 0.5 or so. And it's staying there. So I think we're starting to get to a point where uh, we're getting close to getting a neutral solution here. That's what our goal is, is to achieve a neutral solution, and actually a pH of 7.5. I noticed it looks a little different when I'm adding the sodium bicarbonate. I can see a little bit of activity underneath the foam and in the liquid that I did not see throughout this entire process. I'm starting to see that now. And that's kind of what tipped me off that we may be getting close to our goal. Someone in the comments section pointed out that when we get close to our goal, that we could go from a pH of two up to a pH of nine with just one dropper full of sodium carbonate. So you really gotta be careful when we start noticing the rise in pH. some of the sodium bicarbonate solution. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here. We're getting a little bit of fizzing and bubbling down below the surface that I had not seen before. And that's kind of a tip off that we're getting close to being neutral. Just checked it with the meter and it was at 1.0. 
It's the first time I've seen it get up to that level. I just added one half dropper of the sodium bicarbonate. And now what we'll do is get in here with our meter and see what kind of reading we got on this thing now. Alright, we're at 1.3. you see that? 1.3, 1.2. So we're starting to get a higher pH, which is uh, desirable. That's what we want to do here. Moving up nicely. Okay, the last thing I want to do is overshoot and go above 7.5. So now I'm going to add the stuff real slowly in here. You'll notice I don't get much of a reaction now. So I'm getting pretty close to being where I need to be. Just checked it and was at 4.5. So now we're going to add just a little bit more sodium carbonate, just a few drops. I'm going to reach in here and check it again. It's going to react some teams down a little bit. And we're at 4.8, which is good. That's where we want to be. That's the right direction. Add a few more drops of the sodium carbonate. That's about 10 drops. Let that calm down. Check it one more time with our meter. Oh yeah, now we're up over five. So this is looking good. And it's still bubbling, so there's still acid in there. But then when I put the meter in, It's at 6.3. And I noticed that the level in there has decreased from 800 milliliters down to about 600. So we're going to try to uh, add a little bit of water. Still 6.2, 6.1, large off 6.3 to 6.4 on the pH scale on the meter. Okay, it's up to 6.5. Seven. Finally got the seven. I had to go take care of something, so I turned the stir bar off. I turned the heat off, and I was just away for just a few minutes, and I came back out and looked, and this is what I saw. I missed the money shot from the brown uh, solids settling out after I uh, killed the heat 
and killed the stirring. So this is the time lapse from that after I turned everything off. Here we go. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look or not. But uh, next thing that we need to do is uh, go ahead and filter this. Use our platinum solution with the hydrolysis complete. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look or not. So what we're gonna do now is get set up and uh, run it through a filter. I've got my vacuum system in operation. I've got a nice crosswind blowing. And I've got a mask on to protect me from those fumes. Now we're gonna filter our solution. The purpose of the bromate hydrolysis is to form the hydroxides of any base metals or of any of the other five platinum group metals that'll be in our batch here with the platinum and fall to the bottom of the beaker. And I believe that is what that black residue is, the hydroxides of those other metals. A platinum solution looks nice and clear. Clean. It's looking real good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour these solids right on into the filter now. Please remember, this is the first time that I've ever attempted to do this. I believe that black residue is the hydroxides of the uh, rhodium, uh, iridium, osmium, ruthenium, and palladium that I'm rinsing down into that filter. I'm using a procedure from one of our Gold Refining Forum members, uh, Four Metals, and I'd like to thank him for uh, providing that procedure for this video. Solids should be the metal hydroxides that were uh, created during the bromate hydrolysis process. Uh, we've got all the platinum liquor pulled down through the filter now. That's what you see down here in the flask. It looks real good. Nice clear solution. transfer our platinum solution to a clean beaker. A little bit of cloudiness going on up in here where the water rinse got into the platinum solution. I should have skipped the water rinse and went with that filtered solution just like it was. But I think what we'll do now is Reduce the uh, volume of liquid we have in here. I'm going to evaporate some of this off before we go for the ammonium chloride precipitation. I decided to go ahead and reduce this solution down, evaporate it, because platinum does not like to precipitate from a dilute solution. I came out to look at it and check on it. I seen this precipitate forming in there and I had no idea what that precipitate actually was. to evaporate this down. Of course, I've got some kind of salt precipitating out of the solution now.
is our saturated solution of ammonium chloride. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to our platinum solution here and precipitate out the ammonium platinum. Here we go. Here goes the ammonia going in right now. Here it goes. A difference a night's rest can make when I didn't get any precipitate forming in there I just shut everything down and went in and went to bed and thinking oh no my whole experiment was a total failure how am I going to explain this to everyone watching my videos I came out this morning and lo and behold I've got some precipitate that's formed down on the bottom of this beaker that yellow material is our hexachloroplatinate, high purity platinum salt right down here. I'm going to reach down in here and get a little bit of our solution on a piece of uh, filter paper. Let's do a stannous chloride test. Let's see what we got left in solution here. Of course, I forgot to open the bottle. Just see what we got left in there. There's still a little bit of platinum group metals left in that solution. But I think we've got most of it pulled out with the ammonium chloride precipitation down here. I've got my mask on. And what we're going to do... This is our ammonium hexachloroplatinate. We'll get this out of here in a filter and rinse it off. But right now what I want to do is I believe this is some platinum salt down in the bottom of this beaker. And what I'm going to do is hydrate it with some hydrochloric acid because I don't want this stuff drying out the solution is bad enough, but when it gets in a dry powdered form, it can get airborne and get into your lungs. So we're going to go ahead and hydrate this now with some hydrochloric acid. Now what I'll do is I've got a filter paper back here that has a little bit of the platinum salt in it. See that? I need to get that down in some hydrochloric acid as well. See it's already started to dry out. I'm gonna rinse this out with some hydrochloric acid. rinse this funnel a little better down into our solution here get all this stuff rinsed out of here and now what we'll do is uh, I'm going to cover this up And set it up here back out of the way make sure everything's wet I've got my mask off now that the airborne threat has been neutralized by uh, 
keeping it moist. I was devastated yesterday. I thought the whole experiment was a failure when I poured that ammonium chloride in there and got no result. So when I came out this morning and seen I had some pure platinum uh, precipitate down in there, it was just lifted back up. So now uh, I'm going to have to call it here, man. I'm, I'm going to take the day off, the rest of the day off, and spend some time with Mrs. Three Tips, eat some good food. And uh, when we come back for part six, what I'm going to do is figure out a way to process the uh, remaining solids in that beaker right there. And we'll, uh, we'll continue to work with this stuff. But this will conclude part five of the uh, Platinum Jewelry Refining Series of videos. Thank you for watching.